Hello, Jay here. Welcome to Ian's Battle. And today we're going to look at how to do a checkerboarding on a miniature. First thing I'm doing is setting down my grid. I'm painting some very, very faint lines on the miniature with a dark red paint. I'm making sure that they're all equal distance from each other, and I'm keeping them fairly close together. You don't want to end up with really, really fat checkers. I then went and finished up the grid by applying the, um, the opposite direction lines. You want to make sure that this is pretty faint, so that um, just in case there's any mistakes or mess-ups, it's probably going to occur here, and then it'll usually be fixed when you apply the checkers. And as you can see, I'm now going in with my uh, same dark color and just filling in my grid. This is the point where you want to make sure that your line, your the, the edges of your checkers are very crisp, as this is going to be the uh, the most definition that you apply. And now you have a big line on the edges of your checkers. So what you might want to do is go back and apply uh, another layer of checkers on the outside so that there's no visible line of where you were placing the checkers. I then went in with a true red and then started filling in the checkers. This really brings them out and makes them look very vibrant. I pretty, when I was uh, doing these strokes with my brush, I pretty much just went in one direction. So I then went and tilted the model so that I could uh, make sure that the, the other lines were also crisp. As you can see, I'm here, I'm just doing the opposite uh, stroke to um, help make sure that there is nice crisp lines on the edges of all of the checkers. I then went in with a, an even lighter shade of red and then applied it, just a little bit of it to the, to the middle of every checker just to make them a little bit more vibrant and so that it's easy to see on the tabletop. I really like big designs like this because it really adds a lot to a miniature and it looks good from across the table. And there you have it, checkers. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.